have succeeded. We can do it again. And that we includes constructive stakeholders who have a role to play. The United States continues to strongly support Taiwan's meaningful participation at the World Health Assembly and in the WHO's work more broadly. I would also like to emphasize that in ad addressing global health issues such as infection control, it is important to refer to good exam example of regions such as Taiwan that have achieved public health success and to avoid making any geographical vacuum created by leaving specific region behind in order to prevent the spread in of infection worldwide. The Czech Republic would like to recall that the principle of equity must be respected and all of us must be on board. This is the reason why the Czech Republic fully supports Taiwan to be granted observer status to the World Health Assembly. With strengthening and reform, we believe the WHO can be stronger still, but our ability to draw on expertise from everywhere remains paramount. In that spirit, Taiwan should be allowed to be an observer at the WHA and be given meaningful access to all relevant technical meetings. As the world emerges from the next phase, moves to the next phase of COVID-19, Australia is taking action to ensure we are prepared for the future. We recognise the importance of working with all partners, including Taiwan, to effectively address global health security concerns. Canada is supporting efforts to update the international health regulations and develop an international pandemic instrument. This also means it's crucial to build a global health community where everyone is included and can meaningfully participate. This is why Canada calls for Taiwan's inclusion as an observer at the World Health Assembly.